more reports of people getting shot with paintballs. We pro previously told you about a 60-year-old man who suffered serious injuries after he was shot in the face. Now, RTV6 has learned Metro Police have received numerous complaints since. Reports of paintballs being fired at people, vehicles, and homes across Indianapolis. RTV6's Stephanie Wade speaks with a victim and with the Marion County prosecutor who has an important message for those paintball shooters tonight. I talked to a man who says he was just sitting on his porch last night when someone in a four-door black sedan drove by and started shooting paintballs at him and his home. One even grazed the side of his face. I've got kids that play in this yard and want to have fun and hope you wouldn't have to worry about things like that. People who live near Linden and Orange Street in Fountain Square are not happy to hear someone actually shot a paintball gun at their neighbor. Well, I'd be afraid of getting shot or, you know, getting damaged to the house. Two miles down the road around the same time last night, a man says he was also hit twice by paintballs near Shelby Street and Troy Avenue. I, I can only assume a uh, teenage uh, prank, uh, but you know, in this case, it's horribly dangerous. The Marion County prosecutor tells me this type of crime was not on their radar until a few weeks ago. These firearms are realistic looking. I mean, they look like AR-15s. They look like AK-47s. If that individual, whether it's a civilian or a police officer, uh, has uh, a firearm, you know, the, the kid carrying that, that paint gun could easily get shot themselves. Uh, no question whatsoever. Hematomas, bruising, I think the most dangerous thing that we'd worry about the most would be getting hit in the face or the head, potentially having injuries to the eyes. A 27-year-old man was recently charged with a battery using a deadly weapon for allegedly shooting a 60-year-old man in the face with a paintball gun. They're level five felonies. This, no, we, we want everyone to understand this is serious uh, and we're gonna charge it accordingly. A crime that carries a possible prison term up to six years. The prosecutor wants people to know. Our message is simple. This guy stop. Stephanie Wade, RTV6. The prosecutor says you will still be charged with criminal recklessness even if you don't hit someone. That is also a level five felony.